In this video, I'm taking existing Pokemon and turn them into a more realistic and stylized version. Curious what that looks like? Stick around and find out which Pokemon I'm covering today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while, but here we are back with another Realistified episode of Pokemon. We have been working on the new studio for quite a while, but right now I'm still in my old space because it's not finished at all yet. But for now, let's see what Pokemon we're gonna do today. If you, of course, hadn't seen that in the thumbnail yet, it's been requested by Silver Beanie. Teetran! For this one, ladies and gentlemen, first I will simply uh, select all of these shapes and turn them uh, into shape layers so we can actually fill those up with textures. If you watch my channel often, you probably already know that, but for those who don't, well, there you have it. And I simply click on shape and there you go. Then these things on his arms and legs as well. I always forget how long this stuff actually takes. Like, this is not fun. At all. I would actually prefer cutting something out. Like, I'm not even kidding at this point. Okay, now I think I have pretty much all of the main shapes, so let's go and add some shadows. I feel like this leg in front makes the most sense to start with, so let's go ahead and grab the brush and paint a very nice shadow. We gotta make sure to bring some shape in there, make it look very nice and roundish, and most of all realistic. So as I'm going here, just a little bit around the edges and a little bit around here. Very nice. See, that is starting to get some shape already. Now, this is basically what we're going to have to do to every single piece. So let's do all these gray uh, thingies. I'm not really sure what they are, but I also don't really think that matters. Let's just add shadows and be done with it. Seeing it come to life like this is pretty satisfying, though. Not going to lie. The thing is with this stuff is you don't really know how it actually looks until you have all parts done. So that's a bit weird, but I guess we'll just have to work our way around that. Let's do this leg right here first to see what that looks like. Hopefully that will make it look a bit better because this is not so great. There you go. Something like this. Seems that this is helping a lot. Yes. And after this, we can start adding textures to really make it look actually, you know, real because right now it's just uh, 3D or whatever around the toes as well. Very important to make these really look like, uh, well, toes. I keep repeating myself. Yes, the toes in the back as well. Can't forget about those. Lastly, this one right here. And then we should be pretty much done with the first leg, I would say. However, we do have to make sure that this kind of fades into his body, which is going to be quite tricky, I think. But I'm sure we can make it work because we somehow always sort of get it to work. So, well, let's just freaking go. Let's add some shadows to his tail as well. Very beautiful. There you go. These round bits are probably the easiest thing if you think about it, just make it look round and you know then you're pretty much there that must have been one of the stupidest things i've ever said country roads take me home to the place i belong west virginia <laughs> The final knob thingy. This is getting pretty freaking repetitive, but I guess it's content. So let's freaking go. His tongue as well, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Very nice and 3D. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, guys. After this, hopefully we can do some textures to finally make it just a bit more interesting. Because right now, this is just boring. The last thing we have to do first, though, is the head. Pretty important, I would say. Gonna make the eyes glow a little bit like this, and then we actually have everything filled in so we can add textures. There you go. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna start with his tongue. I have this one, which I have used probably a million times by now, but it's just very handy. So let's go and use this for his tongue. It's gonna be very subtle, don't worry. Let's warp it a little bit so it actually looks a bit roundish. Then we can play around with the blend mode, maybe something like... Uh... And then we can paint just a little bit over his tongue. Not too much, but just subtle texture. There you go. That is just a bit nicer, I guess. Then for his arms, I had this pretty wild idea to use rock. And I don't know why, it just feels like a very 
cool idea. So let's go ahead and warp some rocks into it. And just gonna see what that looks like. It seems if we put this on overlay, we get the best result. Let's decrease the fill just a tad like this. And then we just need to make sure the whole thing is covered. So let's add some more rocks. I thought on my Roblox channel, you know, those rocks were enough, but no. Apparently we need uh, some more rocks here as well. <laughs> and some more rock on this side. There, see how much better that looks. Well, that same thing we're gonna have to do to all of the other limbs. So uh, that will take a sec. Now we can try making the edge a bit less clean, a bit more rocky and uh, you know, well, rocky. And then add some highlights afterwards. Just kind of like this. I feel like that actually makes it just a tad better. There you go. Yeah, that is pretty good. Fun fact, along with Rajigi Gas, Regigi Gas, Regigi Gas. Along with him, this used to be my favorite Pokemon because I, you know, this is one of the few actually cool ones that I had back in the day. Dude, this is actually starting to look so cool. What the heck? Dude, what if we add some of this stuff? Then somehow we need to make sure we only get the lava. Is it me or does that look pretty cool and some more right here let's go now we just need a texture for the metal parts or at least i interpret them as metal and therefore i have this one i think this one may fit just a bit better we just need to warp it so it actually matches the shape there you go just like that very very nice now to really really spice it up i have this texture which i guess we can just kind of put here dude that actually looks pretty cool on its own although i feel like it's a bit too rough let's go ahead and put the blend mode on overlay and then maybe duplicate it once more let's make it a bit more dramatic like that yes that's a bit better dude this makes it actually look so freaking cool it's dirty now i've got all of them and let's decrease the fill on all of these guys at the same time there you go something like this i feel like is nice so it's just a bit touched up and yet not too dirty uh so yeah i guess uh, that's it. Then let's work on the eyes for a sec. I feel like we just need very simple, you know, uh, black pupils. Something like this uh, should be pretty good. I feel like this is a good time to uh, build an environment around this guy to make him pop just a bit more because uh, that's going to be epic. Let's do that. And there you go, that is Heatran. I can literally hear you thinking from here, is there only one Pokemon this episode? Well, yes, because the next one is gonna be in the very next episode. So stay tuned for that, and then I guess for today, that is it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video, and then I hope I'll see you in my next video.